A thin, shiny candy crust surrounding a juicy apple. No tricks, just a treat. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. Trick or treat, Halloween, bonfire night, toffee apples or candied apples, depending where you live in the world. Candy apples, toffee apples, ready to go in 30 minutes. Absolutely simple to make. And when those cherubs are knocking on your door, a candied apple, what better way? They'll get a bit of sweet and a bit of fruit. That'll give them a surprise. Right guys, so simple to make, ready to go in 30 minutes. Let's show you how to do this. Okay guys, this obviously starts with the apples. What we need to do is to take those annoying stickers off the apples, take the stem out of the middle of the apple, and then we just want to give them a, a little wash and dry. Now I don't know why they put the stickers all over the apples, it's really annoying. But anyway, remove them, take the stem out, and then give your apples a little wash and dry. And then what I'm using guys, I'm using the chopstick. One of the cheap throwaway chopsticks, or you can use a bamboo skewer and stick your chopstick through your apple. Now, there is an act to this. Stand your apple on the stem end and stick the skewer chopstick through the bottom end of the apple. You'll find it will stand a lot easier and it's easier to work with to stick the skewer in. And then to a pan guys, we want to add two cups of white sugar. Now you can use any sugar, but you know white sugar works perfectly okay. So get two cups of white sugar in there. And then we want to make a little hollow in the middle. Now it's not essential, but make a little hollow and we're going to add half a cup of hot boiling water. Now this water straight out the kettle, add the water. It's just going to help to start to dissolve our sugar actually. And then we want to add a pinch or half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now the cream of tartar and the apple cider vinegar will stop the sugar mixture from crystallizing and then we want to add one teaspoon of red food color now you can add any color you can have yellow apples green apples orange apples red apples up to you you're in control of your food color so I'll just give that a little mix in there now what we need to do guys we need to dissolve the sugar in here so we're going to actually put it on the flame now we're going to put it on a low flame when we stir in, we do not want to splash the sides of the pan if we can help it because that will crystallize bits of sugar on the outside of the pan and by doing that we will end up with bits of sugar on our apples and what we're trying to do, we're trying to achieve a nice thin shiny candy crust on our apple and it will be nice and smooth with nothing on it so what we do guys is just warm up the mixture in our pan. Whilst it's warming up we're going to add a little bit of oil to a baking sheet. And you can use spray oil, any oil, just rub it all around. This is going to help to our toffee apples not to stick when we put them on. Now we boil this mixture for 10 minutes without stirring it at all. Okay. And then to test it to see if it's any good, what we need to do is just dribble a little bit into some cold water. And if it sets up immediately like this is doing, it's ready to go and we can actually dip our apples. Now, if it was soft inside the water, if you just squeeze it and it's soft, just let it cook a little bit longer. So to dip our apples, guys, what we need to do is tilt our pan. So it's always good to use a pan with a handle. It's easy to tilt. So just rotate your apple round in your sugary candy mixture, 
trying to get it up a little bit on the stick and that will fill in the end of the apple. Now as you can see this is giving a really nice shiny smooth coat to our apple. And then all we have to do is just drip off the excess a little bit, just keep twiddling it round a little bit so it, it doesn't clog everywhere and then put it on our oil tray. And then all we're going to do guys, we're just going to repeat with all our apples. Now this is very easy, very simple, but don't forget we are using boiling sugar, so try not to get splashed with it. If you get splashed, get some cold water on immediately. Okay, so we're just going to repeat with all our apples. Nice and steady then, repeat with all the apples. They look absolutely fabulous. Really, really fabulous. It's a fantastic bright red colour. And like I said, you can use any colour. You know, you could use red, green, blue. Up to you. So all we're trying to do, we're going to try and work the apple in our mixture. We need to coat up a little bit on our stick and fill in the end of the apple. If not, the end of the apple is going to be exposed and not covered in candy. Now, when it gets down towards the end of our sugar mixture in our in our pan just twist it round take a spoon and spoon a little bit over the end of the apple and then give it a little turn again inside and then you don't end up with streaks you'll still get this nice shiny coat very easy guys but like I say be careful um, it's still hot. Now it does cool down quite quickly so you can, can actually leave the flame on low if you wish while you're working and that will make the sugar mixture more pliable and easier to use on your apples. Now guys, if you've missed a little bit on your apple, just touch it up gently with the spoon. Now, you normally miss a little bit round about the stick, stick end. And that's how our apple's done, just look at that, they look absolutely fabulous. Absolutely superb. And then for presentation, if we're actually going to give these away as treats, we need to put them in a plastic bag. Now we need to get it in a plastic bag, as soon as this has rested for about 10 minutes they don't really go in without a problem, not too sticky, just give it a little shake down so it goes in the bag, tie it up with an elastic band or a bow and then it's ready to be given away. So from start to finish, not even 30 minutes. So you can make these right now and give away in 30 minutes. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did don't forget it would be a pleasure if you would like to subscribe Now guys, if you like what we're doing and you would like to subscribe, that <laughs> will be amazing. Till next time, keep safe.